Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this helicopter. This is a Roban 500 MD 500E model, 500 series mechanics or a line 500 clone, hobby king really. Um, I've used a line servos in here. I have LED lights. I have a GART 1600 uh, KV motor. The throttle curve is a flat 40% for normal and a, again, you know, transfers at 50% to 40 on either lop and goes up to 45 and 50. So I have to run it at part load because of the, you know, RPMs for the five blade. I converted this to a five blade helicopter recently. And to do this, because of the anti-torque, I had to change the blades here to 95 millimeter blades. This is a torque tube driven helicopter. I put the lights on. It's, uh, it still flies relatively with a high head speed. So I have another motor that I want to install, which is a Leopard 1450 KV, which may um, improve it a little bit. I also have a Castle Creations 10 amp BEC that's uh, supplying the, the uh, voltage for the helicopter. Pitch curve is your typical. I have at uh, low, low, low stick, I have minus three degrees. Mid stick is plus four and a half, five. And high stick is plus 10 degrees. Let's see how she flies. Right air on, left, right, forward, backwards. Left, right, left, right. Attitude mode. Gyro's direction is right. Okay. That didn't sound good. Wonder what that was. Hmm. We are not gonna try. It sounded like a gear rubbing or this is a lot of weight to carry these blades. Oh Lord, look at that. You see the you see that? Grinding the gear. The gear failed. Oh no, look at that. Guys, here, failure. This is incredible. The pinion broke. You see the pinion? I've never seen this before. Pinion broke right there. You see that? Wow. Incredible. Never ever happened in all these years of flying helicopters. I've never seen a failure like this. Maybe I've been lucky, but I've never seen a gear. This is cheap stuff. That's what it is. Wow. Gosh. Oh well. Better find out at a low altitude than a high altitude. It is a beautiful bird, beautiful model, but uh, save it for a better day. <laughs>